Another spraying method is the circular warp. This method is very useful when you're making long, narrow pieces of cloth. Why is that? Well, the circular warp method makes use of not just the length of the frame, but the circumference. So that's twice the length that you get out of each frame. How does this work? What exactly does that mean? Let me show you. I have my wool attached at one end of the frame. And I take it around and around. And each time I go around, I need to keep track of the order of these threads. I do that using this pair of chopsticks that are still joined at one end. The first time the threads went around, I have it go under and then over the chopsticks. The second time it goes over, then under. Let me zoom in for you so you can see how that is. Yes, there we go. Zoom back out. Now I'm going to take this thread around and around several times. When it goes behind, I'm careful not to catch it in the chopsticks. When it comes in front, I'm going to build up my cross. Behind and in front, and then in front and behind. And I take this around several times, building up what's called a circular warp. Now, let me show you the reason it's called a circular warp is because these threads are forming a circle. It goes around and around, and I have my cross here that I'm establishing as I set up the warp. Now, I'm going to take this thread around several times. You don't have to wait for that. Let me pause the video for you.